Hey guys, Watsrick here coming at you to do my uh, very first unboxing video. Uh, what I'm going to review is something I got as a Christmas gift. Now, I got some uh, pretty cool stuff for Christmas. Uh, my wife got me this awesome uh, limited edition bottle of a DiSorono. It's a really nice uh, amaretto. So I've got this in my decanter for uh, special occasions. I got a pair of house slippers with uh, army camouflage on the inside. Pretty cool. Pretty comfortable slippers. They're a little bit big, but uh, so very nice. Got my, uh, I also got a, a nice Belgian uh, pale ale. And I got some Family Guy pajamas, but the uh, purpose of this video is to review this uh, stereo suitcase turntable system. Now, I used to have a record player a while back, a one made by Crossley, which was a combination CD player, turntable, and a cassette deck slash radio, but I had to sell that needed some money. But I uh, I held on to my uh, record collection that I got because I'd put a lot of, well, a relatively good amount of money into the record collection and um, resale value isn't very high. So and I eventually might get another turntable, but uh, I was uh, honestly surprised when I got this uh, for Christmas. So this uh, appears to be just a uh, portable turntable. It plays a 45s, 78s, and then your standard 33 and a third. And it uh, looks like it's got uh, some sort of Bluetooth uh, functionality to where you can use your, your cell phone with it, maybe to turn it on and off or to play it through your cell phone. Now, the cool thing about this is that it has an extra stylus. So it's just it's a hassle to try and get a, a new one. So once this one wears out, which should be a long time as I don't play records uh, frequently, I'll have an extra stylus on hand. So this uh, thing is uh, very cool. It's got its own built-in speakers and it's got uh, external jacks for headphones or if you want to put it with uh, external speakers as well. Now, so this might be a little bit of a tricky video as uh, my GoPro is currently uh, charging. I'm gonna try and use my LG for this. So. Let's uh, open this up. Oh, and uh, also I got this as a Christmas gift. It's a nice little Ozark Trail knife. It's uh, handy and compact. Uh, a lot uh, less, a lot more comfortable to carry than my Smith & Wesson Border Guard. And I'm going to use this to unbox. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there we go. It's a decent sized blade. I like it. And it's tan. I got this from my uh, cousin Rick. So let's uh, try and open this. Uh, one-handed. Again, this is my first ever unboxing. Packaged in there pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw the box out of the way. So it is the size of a, a very small suitcase. There's the cord and, and there's the turntable. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and then restart once I have everything out of the plastic. All right, so now we've got the uh, turntable open. It uh, opens with this uh, very simple clasp, so you just lift. And straight up in here, we've got a styrofoam block to protect the uh, the turntable. And right here, we have the tone arm with the stylus. The stylus has the protector on there. You can see the name of the company that makes this, Craig. And uh, right here, 
are the is the line in so you can either choose phono to use the speakers from the phonograph itself then line in I guess from an external speaker or you can use for headphones as well right here is what I assume to be the volume control so it's just it clicks on and then of course you can rotate that there there is the headphone jack now on the tone arm it appears that there is a twist tie let's go ahead and take that off of there yeah there we go let's uh, focus there we go and so you've got this little lever right here to release the tone arm as you can see that uh, allows it to move here okay let's drop the tone arm and secure that back into place there then there's the switch right there to choose between 33 and a third, 45, and then 78 RPM. So like, oh, well, this appears to be a pretty solidly uh, built little turntable. Then right here are the extra pieces. There's the 45 adapter disc for the larger hole for the 45 RPM records. Uh, this is only for the small 45s. There's the 12 inch 45s that just fit on the regular spindle. Uh, looks like there's the uh, extra stylus, and then there is, looks like some sort of audio jack, RCA jack, for external speakers. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the stylus cover. <laughs> and I got a few records here. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to hook this thing up. And then let's uh, try playing some records. All right, so let's get to playing some records. So again, so I was correct in that the volume knob does turn the turntable on. So you can select between phonograph, uh, line in, or the Bluetooth. And an interesting feature is that the uh, turntable will not actually start until you unclip the tone arm and then actually move it to the side. All right, so let's uh, put on a record here. I think I'm gonna try, well, uh, let's have it be a surprise. All right, so let's uh, give it a shot here. Let's see. All right, so this is it playing the uh, 33 and a third. Audio quality is uh, pretty good. So let's uh, let's try and move it to the next track. And let's see. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. So again, this is a. One of my favorite albums, so let's see again, this is uh, Mr. Mister's Welcome to the Real World from uh, 1985 with the hit song uh, Broken Wings. So let's let this play for a little bit longer and then we'll try out the uh, 45 RPM side. So I, unfortunately I don't have any 78s, so I'm not going to be able to try any of those out so let's uh, give this a little bit more of a run time here. Again, our audio quality is excellent. So let's see here. All right, this record's a little bit dirty, but it's not seeming to pick up any uh, problems. So let's go ahead and uh, take this record off and let's try a 45 RPM. And then just to take the stylus off the record, you just lift the tone arm. And then once you move it over, it 
clicks into a circuit and then you just drop the tone arm. Uh, and there's Tiki being a, a little goober. Okay, now in order to use a 45 RPM record of the single variety, you take your 45 RPM adapter and you put it on the spindle like that. All right, so then we're gonna be trying out uh, this record right here. It's the only uh, 45 that I can locate at the moment. As you can see, it's got quite a larger spindle hole than your 33 and a third record. So let's go ahead and we are going to set the switch to 45 RPM, which is in the middle setting. And then let's uh, give it a whirl here. That doesn't sound uh, too good, but let's go ahead and give it a shot anyways. It looks like we missed the record. Oh, uh, that's coming through pretty good. Just a little bit of static. So again, this is a 45 RPM single. So that's coming through really good with the speakers that are in there again. Uh, it's a really, really good Christmas gift. I'm glad I held on to my records. Uh, I'm having to talk over this because I've heard that there's some issues with the YouTube regarding playing music in videos. So uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, lift up the tone arm. Now, that really sounds awful, but the sound seems to be coming through pretty well still. And uh, let me see if I can find one of my 12-inch uh, 45 RPMs. All right, so I was able to find one of my 12-inch uh, uh, 45s. So you can see right there, 45 RPM, 12-inch maxi single. Kind of thinking these uh, records are a little bit pointless because you're only getting... Uh, one song on there, and it's a gigantic record, and it's still 45 RPM, but uh, as you can see, it is the same size as a full-size 33 and one-third RPM long-playing record, and it uses the exact same spindle, doesn't need an adapter for that. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little sample of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it on. Lift up the tone arm, and then we're going to just do a short little selection here. All right, so let's lower that tone arm. Let's see, is it going to take it? Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so again, as you can hear, audio quality is excellent for this uh, portable turntable. It's just as good as a lot more, uh, what I would consider to be expensive models. It seems to be a, a budget uh, turntable, certainly the equal of a Crossley. And as uh, far as, uh, again, as far as audio quality, you can hook up external speakers to this turntable for a better sound if you are a vinyl enthusiast. Again, uh, this is a completely unexpected gift. Again, I just held on to my collection of records just because I put a good amount of money into them. Never, didn't really intend to get a turntable anytime soon, but this is definitely a welcome Christmas gift. All right, so let's go ahead and shut it off here. All right, so again, it clicks over into there. Put the tone arm down and lock the tone arm, the turntable to the off position. And uh, let's go ahead and remove the uh, record. And so just to uh, close up the turntable, you just simply close the lid. 
and then it latches down there. Now, one last thing that I wanted to take a look at here were the external jacks. Now, right there, there's just two simple RCA audio jacks for your external speakers. So, just uh, all in all, it's a, a very cool little turntable, and it was a fantastic uh, Christmas gift. So now if I ever want to listen to my records, some of which I don't have the CDs for, uh, I'll definitely be using this turntable. And then as one final note, this is really a good turntable. I looked it up. These are about $50, which uh, isn't too bad. You may be able to find a record player at either a garage sale or at a thrift store for maybe the same price or less. However, with a thrift store or a garage sale, um, more likely, uh, it's not guaranteed that the turntable will work. I had the unfortunate experience of getting a turntable from a friend, and it was mostly broken. So again, those uh, turntables they have a little bit fancier features, but again, for this price, uh, you're really getting something cool. Again, it's a, it's a very small turntable. You get two styluses, and it can be hooked up to modern audio equipment, and with the Bluetooth function, you can use it as a speaker through your cell phone. So again, just wanted to add that little tidbit. Again, this is something definitely great if you're looking for a, a budget turntable to get into. Uh, again, I hope you guys liked the video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.